This particular run is stopping about a mile and a half short of McWanago at a farm market. Other passengers are waiting there now to board for the return trip, and since we're a few minutes behind schedule, we won't be waiting there long for the return trip. This car will pull into a siding momentarily. This is the end of the line. The other folks will be leaving again at 4 o'clock, so there's a sh very short layover. What kind of reaction do you get from the general public? If you go into our depot and look at our, our register book, you'll see a lot of comments from people. Very interesting, outstanding, uh, just a lot of interesting comments about the historical significance and the fun of just coming out here and riding an old trolley car. Whether it's grandparents with their grandchildren or um, uh, fathers with their young children, they all seem to be relatively excited about uh, something different, something new that they haven't tried before. I got a big strong boy here that can help me turn the car around. Cars such as this are double-ended. In other words, the motorman can operate from both ends. Uh, they could be turned around in a loop, but mostly they were run into a dead-end track and the car was, quote, reversed. That means changing the trolley poles, uh, changing the headlights around the other end, and changing the seats, which is really done by pulling the seat over, a uh, walk-over seat, walking down the row and doing that to all the seats and facing them in the other direction. Now the car was eligible to go in the other direction, people facing in the direction of travel. If indeed everything does change eventually, at least some things take a little longer. The distance of years brings new significance to our memories of things and places past. We are a sentimental people and we treasure our souvenirs and remembrances. And there do exist places where, in addition to dusty photographs, one can peer through momentarily into a small piece of history, whereby absorbing the present we can flash back in bits and pieces to grasp an eye blink of yesterday. For a moment at least, 
the sights and sounds of a forgotten past can be ours, a little bit of lost magic in an age grown increasingly cynical and bored with itself. That in this space age society, we who have witnessed dramatic developments in travel, communications, medicine, electronics, and things undreamed of by people who lived not that long ago, that we can manage to marvel at things such as this railway is to our credit. That there were and are people who believed in its perpetuation and worked to preserve it is to their credit. For as our dreams are, such are we. On the rail, on the rail, on the rail, sing me a song. 